Hey everybody, it's Ronnie at First Beer. Today I want to talk to you about the First Beer of Salters Flotation Cumberbone. What we've done is we worked real close with PECI and we brought the TFSS bladders into a cummerbund. So now it's not belt mounted, it's going to be mounted in your, into your cummerbund. This cummerbund works really well with the strand hogs. Here you see the MBAP cut. We also have the sappy cut and also it works very well with the C jar. Pretty much this cummerbund can work with any platform that has a back channel that it can run through. Uh, real easy to pack, it's reusable, runs off 38 grams of CO2, and uh, I'm going to take this one apart and I'm going to show you how to pack it. Your first step is going to be to either, if you've just received your cummerbund, to pull it out and lay the bladder flat, or if you've just activated it, it'll already be out. Uh, on the actuator, there's a trigger. You want to make sure that it's in the uh, forward position. Take your 38 grams of CO2. 38 grams is your minimum. Uh, this is threaded in here. You're going to tighten that down. Just snug. Don't have to torque it really, really tight. Um, your active actuator handle, you want to make sure that the lanyard is away from the hook and loop, and you're going to close that up. All right, your next step, once the CO2 has been in place, remember this is live, so we don't want to pull on the actuator handle. Uh, the bladder is laying out in front of you. The oral inflation tube is on the underside of it. Uh, if this bladder's brand new, there's going to be no air in it. If it's after an activation, then you're going to want to make sure that you get all the air out of it. The easiest way to get the air out of it is to unlock it, like so, and suck the air out of it. Once you get the air out, I'm telling you it makes it ten times better when you pack this thing with no air in it. Uh, after I've gotten the air out, I'm going to lock it back into the, lock, into the uh, closed position so that I can't dump any air. It's completely flat. Uh, I'm going to fold away from myself here. I'm going to go under. Flip my wings, tuck it up underneath there. Now I'm going to fold again under. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get that oral inflator as close to the CO2 cartridge that I can. On this one, which is already packed, you can kind of see where that CO2 cartridge sits. It sits towards the back of the cummerbund. It's more comfort, and again, it stays out of the way of your pockets and everything else you're doing. Because you have to remember this cummerbund not only holds the bladders, it also holds soft armor and plates still, giving you all the armor protection that you need. Your next step is to place the bladder inside the cummerbund. So I fold it back and show you, here's your soft armor pocket, and on top of that soft armor pocket is a loop. That loop is going to hold the CO2 cartridge in place. It's pretty easy to remember, a bladder has to go on top of the soft armor panel where the loop's at. So what I'm going to do is fold it under, feed my CO2 cartridge into that loop. I'm going to be careful of that actuator handle. Don't pull on it because it is a live charge. And all I'm going to do is tuck my bladder in, snap my snaps, close up to my Velcro. The final step is going to be attaching the actuator activation handles. Doing that, we use a pin, grommet, and loop closure system. All right, let's close it up. You're going to take your activator activation handle, place it on top of the cummerbund, ensuring that the lanyard goes between the two grommets. Here I've taken a piece of 550 cord, which makes things just a little bit easier. I'm going to slide that through my loop and then through the grommet on my cummerbund, pulling it through. Now through the grommet on the flap, again pulling it all the way through, and then taking my pin through the loop, remove my 550 cord, feed the edge of my handle into the keeper. I do the same thing on this side. Once you get the other side done, here you can see your pin through the loop, the pin and your actuator handle go into the keeper. Final step is to snap the handle in place. All right, so there you have it. The First Spear Assaulter's Flotation Cumberbund. This Cumberbund works with all the First Spear platforms and can be used as a retrofit kit. You can see that in our catalog and on the website. 
to fit many other manufacturers' platforms as well. Thanks.